700, 800, 900, 1,000. Is that all of it? Nope. 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 11, 12, It's your girl Rochelle and I'm back with another video. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching my content. Now in today's video, we are going to do a quick mid-month check-in, budget check-in. You know we got to check in with the money, the budget. And then we're going to do a mini cash stuffing. And then I'm going to be sharing how much we saved as a budgeting community with the Make It Rain Savings Challenge. That's right, if you took part in the April Savings Challenge, shout out to you. And if you responded with your amount saved, you are included in this final total. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. Okay, now before we get started, don't forget y'all, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys, thank you guys. Now if you wanna know what I have, what I'm working with in my setup here, I have my faux plant here, and I have my candle made by my homegirl Reese, and she has her own candle line called Sereno Candles. This is the scent window seat. She has a travel themed candle company, so <laughs> you know. I had to get me my supply, but it smells so good. She specializes in pure soy wax candles and her stuff is top notch. Links will be in the bio for all the stuff that I'm using today if you have any questions. And I got my press ons today because your girl is trying to save money and stop going to the nail shop so much. And I got a little thing I've been working on. I got a little thing I've been working on. Yeah. I am trying to learn how to do my own acrylic nails, y'all. Phase one was a fail, okay? Mission one was incomplete, but we're not giving up. And when I tell you I'm so excited to try it again, but for now, press ons for the win. Press ons for the win. Okay, now first up, I am diving into my written budget. Woo, woo, I'm just showing up today, okay? I am going old school with it today. Um, sorry if you hear construction in the background, construction, renovation, all that is going on right beside us. But I am inside of my Louis Vuitton agenda and I have my classic happy planner layout that I'm working with. And we're gonna hop over to the month of May. It's been so long since I did a written budget, but I just felt like it. Sometimes you just feel like it. Um, and so I've got my May goals listed here, um, which I will um, check in. Actually, we'll do it now, we'll do it now. So for the month of May, my goal is to decrease our mortgage down to teenager grade. Okay, so that's $19,999.99. We are close, we are close. We are right there at $20,932.62. Y'all, I haven't memorized at this point. I never, I'm, I'm never good with memorizing stuff, but I have our mortgage memorized. Um, second goal is to build our savings back up, reevaluate our bills, which I will share with you quickly, and then have extra morga, morga, mortgage payments so that we can reach this goal. And live relaunch of my business, so far, it's looking really good. I'm doing like a soft launch right now, RochelleAdamson.com, just to make sure my links are working um, and make sure that I am ready with my Asset Academy, which is coming soon. And so, yeah, that's how it's looking. So far, we are hitting all of these goals at once. So I can't wait to see what happens at the end of the month. Okay, so right here, I have my paycheck budget. And so we're gonna go ahead and fill this in. And I have my bill tracker. Now, if you want to grab um, any of the items you see, I will, like I said, have a link in my bio for them. So um, actually, before we do the paycheck budget, I'm just enjoying being in my happy planner. Let me show you my layouts, okay? Check out my monthly layout. So for the month of May, I am using up all my stickers from my favorite sticker shop, which is Megan over at Her Courage to Plan. Um, if you don't know, no, you know. And so I ordered these stickers so long ago and I am determined to use them. They're too beautiful to not use. So um, she gave me some no spin stickers and some bill stickers so I've just been filling them in let me see if I can get you guys a little closer okay so right now we are right smack dab in the middle of the month not quite the 15th it's the 13th but it's a good time to check in for me because most of my bills have passed so I can go ahead and cross off epidemic it has cleared for $15 I can cross off time for learning uh, my daughter's homeschool that has cleared dollar shave club 
cleared. And the interesting thing, remember my main goal was to reevaluate my bills. Well, what I have gotten in the habit of doing is pausing and restarting bills. So Dollar Shave Club, when my husband has a bunch of razors, I pause it. So it has literally been paused for the last like five or six months. And I am just, just now restarting it for the month of May. So my advice to you guys is if you can look at your bills and really see if there's any way you can pause the ones that you don't need. Okay, phone bill, that definitely cleared, 10603. Dubsado for my business, $35. Pest control, $44.50, that's for our primary home. And Buzzsprout, that's for my podcast. Check out Money Mondays, y'all. A lot of replays, um, $18. And then we are caught up for the month. So I still have one, two, three, four, five, six bills left to clear for the month. Um, overall, my goal is to only spend a thousand dollars a month on bills. That's just my limit. That was just a number I came up with and we're going with it. So let me show you what how I'm doing with my no spend. I just randomly, I try not to do a, a no spend every month but what i try to do is just have at least two or three days a week where i'm not spending money because i am a natural spender okay that's just what we got going on i'm a natural spender so let us see for the first week of may i did not spend any money from the first on the first rather i'm gonna put it right there real cute to the side like that the first the second or the third your girl started out strong for the month okay <laughs> i was not playing and then i did make some purchases on the fourth and i made some other purchases the fifth the sixth and the seventh so we're gonna not look at those four days okay um also i made a purchase on the eighth okay we're gonna keep moving right on along so out of the first seven days three no spins for me that's really good that's really solid um and then on the ninth your girl kicked it in high gear and I started back with a no spin. Started off the week strong, okay? Because guess what? I didn't spend any money on the 10th either. And guess what? Not on the 11th or the 12th. So I am just very proud of myself. I've just really tried, really what it is is I've been so busy doing other stuff, new hobbies and things like that that I haven't had time to spend money. And like I said, if anything, I'm in this phase where I wanna save more money because I'm tired of paying a whole bunch of money just to get my nails done and look cute. And I, it's nice to have my nails done for my videos, but I really just like having my nails done. And I like changing my mind a lot. So sometimes I'm in the mood for long nails like today. Other days I'm in the mood for short nails. It just kind of depends. Um, and also too, while we're talking about, cause I'm trying not to move too much from my camera, y'all, this, this camera is the bane of my existence. I should have just listened to Tanisha when she told me to get the Mark, was it Mark two? This is Mark three, whatever this is, it's horrible. The autofocus, thank you guys so much. Whoever watched my video, um, my last cash stuffing video, you guys have been entered. If you did a cash emoji in the comments, you have been entered into the giveaway. Um, I'm doing a 4,500 subscriber giveaway. Your girl got 4,500 subscribers. Like what? We almost at four. Okay, let me stop yelling. We are almost at 5,000 subscribers. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Anyway, let me stay focused. So that's my no spin. Anyway, the winner, the winner is going to be announced. I'm sorry. I thought it was going to be in this video, but I'm going to try and do a separate video this weekend with the winner. I want to contact the winner first. I'm not playing. There's a whole bunch of people who just search YouTube for giveaways and it's not fair to the people who really put in the work. So um, I'll get I'll reach out to you winner and make sure I, I talk to you personally and then you will be the grand prize winner of a $25 Amazon gift card. Okay, so let's hop back on over. Let me move this out the way because it's just easier for me. Hop into this paycheck budget. Now, if you are new to budgeting, this is a great option for you i'm not saying you have to buy my budget sheets okay i'm just saying this is an option you could do this on a plain sheet of paper for me it is easy to just divide my money out into sections um maybe if you're just starting out you want to use just five sections three sections whatever savings debt and uh, bills whatever you want to do but for me I have nine buckets that I care about um, and so for today today is five 
1321 at the time I'm filming this budget that we're going to be working with today is one thousand four hundred ninety three dollars and seventy three cents and that is just money that we have on hand right now in our checking account we had a lot of mini um, refunds reimbursements credits whatever some you know things happening in our bank account and I just like to work with fresh money weekly I I give every dollar a job I do not play you'll see what I mean in this uh, budget layout okay so first off savings got three dollars and seventy three cents taxes we had to pay a tax bill and it's going to come out in the total of hundred and sixty nine dollars I am leaving a five hundred dollar buffer in our account because we are in the middle of qualifying for a new home and a new car and it's just application fees and all this other type stuff um so i'm just gonna make sure i have money in there normally i in the old days i would do a thousand dollar buffer but now i don't do a buffer at all i gotta be honest i spend every dollar it it's just easier for me um groceries still has money left this is leftover money like i said in our account i gave us 300 dollars to work with last week and we still haven't even went grocery shopping yet so we still have that money we've been living off of the food we have eating out we had a 200 dollar budget and it is now down to 159.13 we are going to stuff another hundred dollars and we have sinking funds now these are my electronic sinking funds okay let me put a little thing right here it's hard to write with these long nails <laughs> um electronic sinking funds now that first one is gifts we have been spending all the money on gifts um it's that time of year is it is it graduation season yes it is graduation season that's what it is so gifts is has a total of $28.12 left to spend. Amazon, that's right, we have an Amazon second fund. It has $19.66 left. And I have made my Tesla sinking fund, which was um, originally just supposed to be the down payment on our Tesla, um, but we ended up financing the whole amount. So um, I'm not putting any money down. I've turned it instead into a Hawaii sinking fund because we have to pay um, deposits for the new place that we're going to be moving into. Um, I I'm going to have a whole updated Hawaii budget coming in the upcoming months. But anyway, $214 and... What did I say? Nine cents? I, gotta, I can't even read my own handwriting here. Nine cents is going to that sinking fund. So if you add all of that up, $1,493.73. So that's the budget. Now, can we talk about savings challenges? Because, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun with them right now. Um, let's start with the zero out challenge. You saw me write $3.73, right? Why do I feel like that's kind of close? Okay. $3.73 is going to our emergency fund and that is the zero out challenge. Now, if you wanna get caught up on any of these savings challenges, check out my website, rochelleadamson.com slash resources. It has the details, okay? All the details for free. You can print them off, do whatever, um, and catch up with us in these savings challenges. And I also will put the newest savings challenge for May on there also, which is the one I'm doing from Auntie Foxy aka legendary house of shay so anyway first up that's the first savings challenge the zero out challenge three dollars and 73 cents okay now let's talk about savings challenge number two which is the nickel savings challenge so nickel savings challenge every time i get any extra money i've been throwing it in this envelope now what i like about the savings challenges and this is just the way i've been choosing to do it but the savings challenges especially the zero out savings challenge and the nickel savings challenge i'm working with money i already have so say i had money in here and i noticed that it was starting to build up like for us it was groceries we still we have electronic grocery money and cash grocery money and i noticed that this envelope was getting kind of thick and we just weren't shopping as much we were just living off of the food we already had so i pulled some money out and i put it in my nickel savings challenge so so far we have 20 40 60 80 90 dollars that's lit i didn't know it was that much okay the goal is to have three thousand dollars by the end of the year oh let me zoom back out but anyway this is my nickel savings challenge money and previously in previous months i was like counting it up and putting it in here that's a lot of work 
I'm gonna tell you right now, if you're saving $3,000 in one year, <laughs> listen, this is, this is too much. So anyway, how much I have right now is 200, I'm way behind y'all, $221.75. But I'm not gonna give up hope. I'm going to try my best to get this money up. So for now, we're just gonna throw it in here. We're not gonna, we're not gonna track it anymore. We're not gonna track it. We're gonna count it all up at the end of the year. That's just the energy I'm on right now. Yep, look at that, look at that. That's a nice amount. There's some change in there, which I can't stand. I can't stand changing, and, but that's okay, because change is still money. Um, okay, so that's the nickel savings challenge. Now the third savings challenge I wanted to talk about is the make it rain total amount. So you remember this challenge, I still kept the envelope because it turned out so, so cute. So the make it rain savings challenge, I added up all the money that everyone told me they had saved. And so, in fact, let me keep this up. This is a little photo op. Let me keep this up right here. We're gonna put that right there, slide that up. Can y'all still see that? Yeah. Now, what I'm going to do is just to give a visual representation is uh, of how much money we saved as a budgeting community, I am going to use my prop money. This is all the prop money that we have saved. So I have a lot in here. Hold on, this ain't all gonna be saved. I'm just gonna take a good amount out so I can count and share with you guys how much we did. It is just, wait till you guys see it. And you know it. Well, I'm not, we did not beat March Madness, okay? We were not in the, uh, <laughs> March Madness, y'all just, y'all were feeling it, okay? March Madness is still, whew, okay, still the best one. Okay, so let's see, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000. Is that all of it? Nope, nope, nope. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Is that all the money we saved? Nope, 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 nope. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 2,500, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And I'm gonna give us a half a, look, let me see if I can put this in the halfway in the frame. We saved a total of $3,068. Check us out, $3,068. Are you kidding me? This is how much we saved. Wait, I gotta take a picture real quick. Cause that is just beautiful. So we saved as a community over three thousand dollars it's actually a lot more than this because i've been watching people's make it rain savings challenge update videos and i can see some people already did this you know i was late with it i wanted to give people time you know um it's a lot going on right now but anyway we saved bare minimum this amount these are the people who responded to my youtube community post to my instagram post everywhere so shout out to you guys for saving all this money um, and don't forget, it's not over. We are doing savings challenges every month to stay motivated to save more money. And you can choose. You can choose, hey, do you want to spend your money after you save it or do you want to keep it in your savings account? Me personally, I am trying to be mortgage free by the end of December this year, 2021. And so I'm throwing any extra money to all my savings challenges. So anyway, this is how much we saved. Like that is so lit. That is so lit. Okay. Gotta love prop money. Gotta keep it separate too because you don't want to get in trouble. Try to use that at Whole Foods. <laughs> that would not be cute, honey. All right, so make it rain savings challenge. That's savings challenge number three. So um, if you guys are interested in joining the next savings challenge, it's not too late to catch up. Boom. Bring May Flowers Less Spend Savings Challenge. So can y'all see that? That's by Auntie Foxy. I made a cash envelope out of it. And so um, if you want to know the rules, it'll be on my website or down in the description below because you have to contact her direct if you want her um, cash envelope. That's just how, how she's making it work, okay? I love that. So um, what am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, okay, okay. First, let's do a quick unstuffing because remember, any extra money that I have left over, I'm taking a portion of it and I'm putting it here. So first up is personal. 
personal has 20 25 30 31 32 dollars left so i have bought the item that i care about um and so i don't really feel like i need any more personal cash right now so i am going to pull hmm i'll leave myself five dollars in case there's just something i i need a personal item that i need or even needs but we are pretty stacked right now so that's personal next up is groceries groceries like i said i took a lot of this out because we just didn't spend it it has 40 dollars left so we'll leave that we do roll over grocery and then next up is miscellaneous miscellaneous has five dollars left um i'm gonna take it out i'm gonna take it out i'm telling you guys i want this mortgage gone tips is next tips has four dollars we'll keep that tips you can stay i have used it though we've been tipping y'all always tip your waiter um eating out has money left how much does it have oh eating out has 20 dollars. now we really only pull from this when my husband is off and this is technically his week off but he is picking up some overtime um and so we actually need that money because we got a lot going on we you know getting a new place buying a car we have to travel it's a lot going on so anyway i'm going to pull um ten dollars of this out and we'll keep just ten just in case but we we really only go out when he is with us because it just don't feel right okay and then i just have my other savings challenges we just did the nickel one 26 week is on hold i promise i'm gonna come back to this because this is another one i was feeling i just had to um my goal was I needed to focus on paying this mortgage down and so I, I could not save like how I really wanted to and this is just my extra bank money so what I want to do if you guys caught my last cash envelope stuffing video um, you know that I have restarted my bank and basically what that means is I give my, myself switch out money exchange money in case I want to you know increase my or you know if i have too many ones or fives i can give myself a 10 so that's what we're about to do with this money right here because i want to switch it out um i want to give myself a ten dollar bill so let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we'll put that there and then what else can we do we have a ten and one five I think I want to, we always get more ones. One, two, three, four, five. Set that off to the side. Give myself a five. Okay. That's really good. That's really good. I'm going to stay there. I'm going to stay there. So this is the money that we are working with that is bank money. So like I said, I, I give myself change and I just keep on stacking this bad boy up for the, for the next um, exchange stuffing. So we can close, we'll put that to the side. This is the money I will be adding to the May Savings Challenge. So, hope y'all stayed with me. I did a lot of switcheroo on you. I tried to shake you. Yes, this is, this is what I'm talking about. I wanted this to start building up. We halfway through the month of March. Let's see how much we got. I, I See, I planned on not counting this, but I just got to know. 20, 40, 45, 50, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, 79. Oh. I'm sorry, I'm not supposed to be yelling at y'all. $79 is how much we have saved. I can't stand odd numbers, so coming back i am coming tips taking one from you i i just i just like even numbers it's the way i've always operated y'all 80 dollars to the may savings challenge thank you auntie foxy for this bomb savings challenge look at that all going toward the mortgage we really aren't playing we are good for savings challenges now let's stuff this money here since we have it out these are the cash envelopes i keep on me at all times i just had them inside of this binder just for the stuffing you know um we are only going to stuff groceries and miscellaneous so groceries is going to get 60 dollars and i think that'll put us back at our goal of 100 per week 20 40 60 80 100 yep $100 is usually how much we spend at for short runs, short market runs. 
and then miscellaneous you're gonna get this other 40. i usually do 75 because that was how much we averaged but we have not been spending i've been tracking it and we have only been spending about 40 dollars every week on miscellaneous things i am the strict you know cash user and budgeter micah is more so you know he's not he's a natural saver so when he's out and we're out and he's like oh i want to buy that i just try to cash flow it i never know when those moments are going to happen but when they do i got to be ready okay so these are going to go in my purse they are all stuffed for the week and i'll put those in my purse later now 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 so i was trying to keep a dollar on me at all times this is like my coin purse that i keep on me in my purse but what i'm noticing i'll show y'all my purse is starting to have this little thing i don't like that this little divot because and i think it's from oh that's from shopping today i think it's from having too much stuff in here so i have just like my lip balm i have my airpods i really think it's from this my antibacterial which is empty what in the world Rochelle get some more <laughs> get some more girl get some more and I've got my keys oh and a bobby pin you know we always got to have a bobby pin in our purse I don't know why um got my keys I love this thing this this is bad so if I take all that out oh and I have some gum yeah so I'm really trying to flatten this out I don't like how it's looking stressed when you have quality items y'all you gotta take care of them so anyway i am going to try to just do my key ring only my airpods and my lip balm that's it if i get any change it's gonna go in here until i get home and it will go in the change machine i am not gonna worry about the gum i will just have funky breath under my mask it's like let me stop I know I'm setting a bad example for you Eva anyway we're gonna drop this down in here this is how I originally used to fund my nickel challenge but we got a lot of quarters in here that's what I'm talking about boom I feel really good about that okay that's it for today's video y'all I hope the thing stayed in focus for me I tried not to move too much but if you guys have any um but if you guys want to grab any other things I talked about don't forget link in the bio especially um, Megan her coverage to plan I love her stickers I love how they come off the sheets they are very level pro check out her Etsy and I will see you guys in the next video don't forget to check out my website if you want some savings challenge motivation we, we doing it all okay we doing it all but anyway I'll see you guys in the next one and don't I will be announcing my winner okay next video i promise i promise until then peace love and budgets